The floor starts quaking like it's alive. Books, mugs, and lamps leap off shelves. Your feet slide, your body sways, and you can barely stay upright. It stops for a second, but then it shakes again and again. More than a thousand times just in one day. This is not how you imagined your trip to Santorini, but it's the new reality. The Santorini Seismic Swarm started in January 2025. In less than one month, there were, get ready for it, more than 20,000 reported earthquakes. For comparison, most cities on Earth go through one small, barely noticeable quake in a year. It all started with small jolts that residents could feel, but tourists might have mistaken for large trucks driving nearby. But by February, things got serious. A magnitude 5.3 quake struck. It's a moderate-strength earthquake, but it was strong enough to rattle homes, break windows and dishes, and terrify the island's population. The Greek authorities declared a state of emergency for Santorini and Amorgos. Thousands of people had to leave their homes. Schools closed, and hotels temporarily evacuated their guests. Santorini is famous for its volcano, the one that blew up in a massive eruption around 1600 BCE and inspired the legend of Atlantis. It's still considered to be active, although there have been no significant eruptions since the 1950s. So it would be logical to blame this monster for all the drama. But nope, these tremors mm. weren't volcanic. Experts said what was happening near Santorini looked like a seismic swarm. It's a series of smaller quakes all happening in the same area. They are happening along faults, which are cracks in the Earth's crust that can suddenly shift when the tension gets too high. Think of the ground like a giant, stressed-out Rubik's Cube. At some point, it twists and snaps somewhere. Near volcanic areas like Santorini, fluids moving underground can sneak into these cracks and make them easier to break. Plus, there's the natural stress from tectonic movements. It's like adding oil to a squeaky, overworked hinge. Suddenly, everything slips. Nobody knows exactly what's coming next. Tracking thousands of tremors isn't easy. Many of them are too small for traditional seismic sensors to pick up. But this time, scientists have their new best friend to help out. I'm talking about artificial intelligence. Thanks to machine learning, researchers can detect patterns in tiny vibrations that humans might miss. This technology has helped a lot to understand the swarm. It lets scientists map which parts of the crust are most active and even predict possible future activity. The AI analysis suggests the quakes aren't random. They seem to be clustered along a fault line near the underwater Colombo volcano. This area has a long history of seismic activity. Even though Colombo hasn't erupted recently, the magma beneath it might be subtly shifting the crust and it adds tension to the tectonic plates above. It's like a simmering pot. Nothing boils over yet, but the heat is definitely building. The swarm has subsided after a couple of months of constant shaking, but it doesn't mean it's over for good. Even after a lull, another swarm could strike, or a larger quake could happen along the same fault lines. That's why scientists are now studying the data collected from the swarm. If you're thousands of miles away from Santorini and don't have plans to visit, it doesn't mean you're 100% safe from a similar scenario. Seismic swarms like the Greek one happened in the Caribbean, Iceland, and Italy. One of the best documented swarms in history happened in Japan, in a suburb northwest of Tokyo. It was all going on in a town sitting on a seismological observatory, like a secret underground lab for tracking earthquakes. The swarm kicked off in August 1965 with just three earthquakes that were so weak, nobody could feel them. But things escalated fast, and three months later, a hundred quakes a day were strong enough for people to feel. On one day, the observatory recorded almost 7,000 quakes. Out of those, 585 were strong enough to actually shake the ground, meaning you could feel a quake roughly every two and a half minutes. Scientists figured out that the swarm was caused by fluids moving underground, kind of like the Earth's crust, stretching and bubbling. 
Studying seismic swarms helps scientists predict earthquakes better, understand how Earth's crust moves, and even prepare for future natural disasters globally. For instance, if they can link the patterns of tremors to magma movement or tectonic shifts, they can apply similar models to volcanoes and fault lines in Hawaii, Iceland, or the Pacific Northwest. Santorini is like a living lab where they combine modern tech with traditional knowledge. AI, seismographs, and satellite imaging add to centuries of human observation. The locals who have lived through quakes for generations contribute insights about small tremors, changes in groundwater, and unusual animal behavior. All this helps scientists refine their models. Santorini's swarm has surely grabbed the attention of the whole world, but it's not the only place on Earth with some intense seismic activity. But what makes Santorini unique is its combination of historical volcanoes, underwater fault lines, and the fact that it's a real tourist magnet. The island is not so large, and the effects of even moderate tremors feel stronger and more dramatic than in other regions. In other places, though, even more serious earthquakes, tsunamis, and volcanic activity are regular news, and the people have learned to live with them. Japan is one of the regions on Earth where earthquakes happen the most because it sits on the edges of four tectonic plates. There are around 1,500 of these earthquakes each year that are noticeable. Because of this, the people in Japan have learned to live with earthquakes. There's even a law that sets a rule that buildings in the country should be able to handle earthquakes up to a magnitude of 7 without falling apart. An update 30 years later said that buildings should only have minor damage in such earthquakes and still work as usual. But if an earthquake is even stronger, the law says the building's main job is not to collapse, but to save people's lives. At the most basic level, buildings are made stronger with thicker beams, pillars, and walls so they can handle shaking better. They even construct some buildings on thick layers of padding that separate them from the ground completely which helps protect them during an earthquake. A skyscraper might sway back and forth a lot and move up to 5 feet, but it won't collapse. On the other side of the Pacific, scientists from the U.S. Geological Survey have studied a dangerous area along the U.S. west coast. It's called the Cascadia Subduction Zone. Over the past 14,200 years, there have likely been at least 30 big earthquakes in this region. One major quake happened every 500 years on average, but for a long time now, Cascadia has been quiet, and the scientists are getting worried. They think this might be because the area is locked, so the tectonic plates are stuck together and building up a lot of pressure. At some point, a part of the seafloor could suddenly break and move forward by several feet. The shaking would be just five minutes, but it would create a powerful tsunami as the seafloor shifts that would last for 10 hours. If it happens, it's going to be the worst natural disaster in the country's history, according to experts. This could make the hillside slide and crumble and take down roads and bridges. Around 620,000 buildings could be badly damaged or even collapse. Scientists are hoping that thanks to advanced AI tech and local communities, they'll be able to better predict earthquakes like this and the one in Santorini. This could save thousands of lives. And for now, we must not forget that the Earth doesn't take vacations when it comes to seismic activity, even in places where you go on vacation. That's it for today. So hey, if you pacified your curiosity, then give the video a like and share it with your friends. Or if you want more, just click on these videos and stay on the bright side.